Hmm. It was interesting when you mentioned uh, being called ghetto and articulate. Mm -hmm. I I have another, I have a moment and it was so odd. Um, I was, it was my eighth grade English class and it came, I, yeah, I mentioned something. I think we we were reading something. Yes, we were reading the lottery, short story, wild, it, okay, you're, sh- you're shaking your head, so you know what it's about. Sick. Yeah. It's a f- weird and twisted tale. Right. But um, I commented on it, and at the time, I was so thrilled because my English teacher was black. She was. That was the first time that I had a black teacher mm-hmm. in my private school, and she commented on how articulate I was, and I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> what because <laughs> I was like sis I was maybe one of three people of color in that classroom and for you to say in front of an audience as a teacher to a student hey you sound so articulate right now I'm like all right um I bristled because hearing that from other from other peers and counterparts it puts you on the defensive because you're like, okay, cool. Is this not a staple? Is this not a standard? But to hear that from a Black woman and someone that I had admired in that educational space, I really just didn't know how to react. Um, And I think that as I continue to navigate different spaces, I have learned that I resent the word articulate because it is so racialized and codified on so many levels. And it just it frustrates me more than anything else. 